Casual Savage here and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to create some animated text in Vegas Pro 15. So the example you saw at the start I'm going to be showing you how to create that. Now bigger YouTubers do use this and of course uh, PewDiePie's used it in the past, Markiplier's used it in the past and of course some others have as well. Just before I get into this video, if you find this video helpful, be sure to hit the like button, be sure to hit the subscribe button, and also be sure to go ahead and follow my social media. I'm on Twitter, Instagram, and of course, Snapchat. So anyway, the first thing you want to do is have your video track opened up, and then you wanna come over to Media Generators and just add on any text that you would like. Now, it's important that you do do it directly from Vegas. Unfortunately, if you have created text in Photoshop, you can't do it uh, this technique. So you're going to drag on one from here, then you're going to enter your text. So I'll just go with what I put at the start, which was this. So this is the initial text or that's the end result. So it's important to know we know what we want at the end. However, this is now where it comes a bit more complicated and a bit more time consuming. What we're going to be doing is of course selecting the font that we would like. I'll just pick this one here pretty good font for this uh, type of effect and all I'm going to do is put in A. Now from here we're then going to select the animate button and then you want to zoom in using your mouse wheel you can see we can now be zoomed into this and we can move this across. You want to have sync cursor to media timeline highlighted and then you want to make sure you're selected on the first keyframe and then you want to press the right arrow on your keyboard. Now two is probably the minimum I would go because it is quite fast as it is and if you want the uh, text to gradually grow and of course the whole word comes out then probably go up to seven or eight that's if you want it to be slower for me I'm going to be staying around four because I think that would be best for me next part I'm going to do is just put H but this time we're going to highlight this uh, second letter and we're going to put this to let's say 75 and press enter now we're going to select this keyframe again, we're going to come across the same amount we did last time, so we came across 4, so I'm going to go across to 8, then I'm going to add another H. Then we're going to highlight this H, and we're going to change this font size to 80. So notice it's going to get bigger and bigger as we go along. So same thing again, we're going to select this keyframe, this time we're going to go to 12, add a H to the end, highlight this, and I'll put this straight to 85 and you can see again it gets bigger. So I'm just gonna go ahead and finish this off because of course it's pretty self-explanatory to you now and it should be pretty simple to follow along. And then after I'm gonna be showing you one other effect we can do to make this look a lot better. So I'll be back to you when this part is done. So there we go, I'm all done now. And you can see if you just go across these uh, from here on that timeline, you can see how that looks like that. So now I'll also play it through, you can see that's four frames apart, and that is already quite quick as well. But you get the idea, that's how that works, and you can see that A is smaller than everything else, and everything gets bigger and bigger and bigger. So the last thing I'm gonna be showing you is how to position it, and then of course adding on a transition to make it, or just to finish it off. So you can either use the pan and crop tool, or you can use the motion track tool. If you use the track motion tool, then just be aware that Anything that is placed on this track will also be moved out of position as well. If you have other things on the track, either open a new track and use the motion track, or like me, I'm just gonna use the pan crop tool. I'm then going to double click this, so it's in move in Y only, and I'm gonna drag this up. So it's gonna look like this. Now I'm then going to X out of this, and if I play it through, that's what we get. So the last thing I want to be showing you is a sliding transition. So for that we're going to just head over to transitions and we're going to look for slide. And here it is and you can see um, because the text grows from left to right then we can add in slide into the left to right. So I'm going to drag and drop that on and if I play this through I'll just lower this so hopefully it doesn't lag. That's sort of what we get. So you can see the transition was way too slow. So we'll speed that up. So now it's nine frames. You can see that's what we get. So it's just a really easy way to be more creative with um, for those who do commentary. Hence why these bigger YouTubers actually add this in. Well, the editors add it in. You can see it just makes the video look a lot more better. And of course, 
it just looks better instead of just putting ah on the screen. It's, but with this, you have a slide and a bit of animation at the same time. Now, there is another thing you can do. Um, of course, you can customize the colors, etc. However, I'll show you one more thing. Um, so we can actually change the colors individually. So for the A, or for this first keyframe where the A is, we can come here and say we want it to be green. We can then come to the next keyframe and we can say we want this to be blue. Next keyframe, we can change this to red or something, or pink. And then this keyframe, again, another color. And then this will all make sense once I play it back because you'll see it will be all uh, changed at the end. So we'll go here. And now if I play this through, it's actually going to be flashing in multicolors. So if you saw like that, and if I just take uh, the slide off so you can see it, that's how it will now look. So you can see it's a pretty cool effect. And of course, the final version will be in one standard color. Last thing I'll be telling you, uh, which most people probably already know if you all are familiar with Vegas Pro 15. If you select one with a checkered background, it means your video will be able to be seen straight away easily with no problems. If you say select one of these, like this combined effects one, as you can see it already comes with a green background, head over to properties and where it says background color, you want to change this all the way down and then you can still keep the same text color and effect, but there'll be no background to it. So your video underneath can be seen. Of course, if you want a background color, by all means, keep it on. But that's it for this video, hopefully it has come across as useful and as I mentioned at the start, if it has come across as useful, be sure to hit the like button, be sure to hit the subscribe button and also follow me on my social medias. Catch you in the next video.